hi everyone i want to welcome you to the second uh, phase of uh, the video i started now today we want to be looking at um, another case of resolution of several vectors now in this case our focus will be on f1 f3 f5 and what f7 respectively now what do i mean now what do, what am i talking about f1 f2 f5 and f7 now f1 f2 f5 and f7 can be represented in this form now this is what don't forget there's an arrow showing the direction f1 f3 right this is what f f5 and this is what f7 now when you see all these are uh, vectors now many people are always confused how would they resolve especially those that are used to the conventional way now don't forget what i told you in the previous video that any vector in case i didn't tell you before in this video that any vector that goes like this has component on both x and y anyone that goes like this has component on both x and y anyone that goes like this has component on both x and y anyone that goes like this has component on both x and y now what does that imply it implies that if it goes like this it has component on both x and y but one thing you should know is is it on positive x or negative x which we have done that um f of what i mean f along x was all the words plus or minus what f what cos what theta and we said f along y is got to plus or minus what f what sine what theta but in this case this one is a special case that's why i call it case two any vector that goes up like this has component only on positive y which implies that its component on x is zero either positive or negative anyone that goes like this has component only on positive x which implies that all other components are zero any vector that goes like this has component only on negative y and all others are what zero any vector that goes like this has component only on what negative x so in this case you are not stressing yourself just know where you are going and pick it so in this case don't forget don't forget this coordinate that i drew the other time this is what positive y um positive y um negative y positive x and um, negative x so that's what we're gonna be using to resolve this now this method is not that long but the reason why it looks so long is due to the fact that i'm explaining and you must understand it this is a video tutorial you can pause it and you know now how do we resolve f now, if you look at f1 f1 is on what positive what positive x so the vector here we write it f what f1 right what is the angle of inclination of f1 to the horizontal because it's going straight it is not inclined to any horizontal so angle of inclination to the horizontal is what zero now what is the y component i told you it doesn't have component anywhere except what along positive x so the vertical component that's of f1 is what zero don't stress yourself why the horizontal component the horizontal component because it's on positive what positive what um positive x so it will now be what f what f1 no stress now for this other vector the other vector is what f what f3 now f3 the angle of inclination of f3 to the horizontal is 90 degree how do we know now look at it this is f3 now if i bring a broken line like this like i put it here am i on point now f3 here is inclined to the horizontal what at what 90 what degree now somebody may want to ask that uh, why is this not inclined this one is just going straight so if that is the vector it's not inclined to what the horizontal so they'll just register so f3 in this case is inclined at what 90 what degree to the horizontal so you put the angle of inclination to the horizontal is what 90 what degree don't forget this one is zero degree so what is the vertical component now f3 only has comp component on positive y so the vertical component here is what f what three while the horizontal component is what zero 
so don't even bother to do that actually there's a method you can use to convert all this but because of time so we are going to be doing that one under the normal case i call this special case or case whatever so in this case the next one is f what f5 so the vector here is what f what 5 now if you look at f5 f5 is synonymous to f1 it's just the difference in their direction f5 is in on negative x don't forget look at this f uh, sorry look at this f5 is on what on negative what x right so in this case the angle of inclination of f5 to the horizontal is what is zero right so what will be the vertical component the vertical component is zero because it doesn't have component on y so the horizontal component is negative what f5 so that will be minus what f what five now the last one is what f what f7 now if you look at f7 f7 has component on negative y now what's the angle of inclination of course somebody would have guessed it if you draw an a horizontal line like this this is what 90 what degree so the angle of inclination of f7 to the horizontal is what 90 degree of course it doesn't have comp it has component on vertical which is negative so that would be what minus what f what seven now the horizontal component is what is zero because it doesn't have component so don't forget any vector going up right as component like what we have here any vector any vector going up like this as component on what positive y only any vector going like this as component on what positive x only any vector coming down like this as component on what negative y only any vector going like this as component on what negative x only so that is the idea so in the next video we're gonna be solving examples that we can use to establish this then before we solve examples i would actually like to show you the other video of resolving vectors normally then we're gonna we can now use examples to you know compare the two videos so that when you see it actually this other vector that uh, this other method i'm actually teaching you is very very valid when you see things like this in objective for those of you that will be if you are from africa if you are writing y when they bring vectors like this and uh, when they bring vectors like this in the exam i get in it the first thing you need to do is to do what is to apply this special case and it will help you in the next five minutes five minutes too much three minutes you are through with that and if you see it in theory you can also apply this because they mark it um, line by line and how you you are able to solve it very well i hope this video helped please share the video subscribe to help others